Hey guys, in today's video I am going to be showing you, I'm not going to be showing you, I'm going to be telling you, I'm going to be telling you how I got my hair like this. Lots of people in my How I Style My Short Hair video have been wondering um, the process of how I got my hair like this, my hair cut, the formula I use, products I use, all of that good stuff. So instead of just going through the comments which are getting really repetitive, I thought I would just do a video on it and then everyone can learn how to get their hair like this. First thing I'll start off with is the process. It is a little bit of a lengthy process depending um, what color your hair is. So when I first got my hair done, which was February of 2016, my hair looked like this. I will show you guys a picture. So this was right before I got my hair done. So as you can see, it was just kind of like a medium warm brown with some highlights in it. I did have a balayage. So I basically went from that to this in a matter of eight hours. So it was a little bit of a timely process and my best friend is a hairdresser. <laughs> so it's, it would be costly regularly. Luckily she gives me a pretty good discount, which I'm super appreciative for. So just know if you go and depending where your hair is and what level you're at, it could cost you quite a bit and you might have to go more than once. So um, like I said, this took us eight hours. So, um, I guess the process what we took so I'll link the video down below that we reference um excuse me so I will link the video ref for reference that we used it was by Guy Tang he was doing Jay Kiss's hair when she first went silver so I'll link that down below that's what we used as a reference so basically the first thing we had to do is we bleached my entire head so just know you may you're gonna have to put a lot of bleach on your hair with this hairstyle like over the past what that's not even a year yet I probably have bleached my hair between three to four times because you have to keep up with it and then once your roots grow out you have to redo and bleach out that chunk of hair so just know you're gonna be bleaching your hair quite a bit so yeah we bleached my whole head and brought it up to a kind of like pale yellow color almost like the inside of banana of a banana peel so pretty much almost platinum blonde um, and then from there we shaded the root so when you ask for the root color ask for something more ashy obviously so that it matches with the silver so something more ashy I think my hair natural hair level is a level seven I'm pretty sure my hairdresser said so um, that's what we did but I mean you can always go lighter as well depending on your hair color I just have a really dark natural hair color that when I wanted it growing out, I wanted it to fade still nicely and match my natural hair color. Everyone always asks me what formula we use to get the silver. So the very first time I did it, we used 8SM by Guy Tang, the Kenra Metallics line, his line with Kenra, and we put that all over the rest of my hair with the shaded root. In my How I Style My Short Hair video, um, we didn't touch up my root, and then we just added 8SM to about, I would probably say like the halfway point, and then the rest of my hair was 10SM. So that's a little bit more of like a pearly silver. It's really, really pretty. So um, yeah, that is the formula that we did um, the second time. And then we did, I there was times where I did 8SM with some violet in it. So you can really switch it up. Luckily it fades and it'll fade to silver either way if you put violet in it. So you can put kind of play around with formulas as well. Lots of hairdressers will know really good formulas too. I can't remember if I mentioned this, but just so you know, like as a guideline, the first time you get your silver done, it will probably fade really quickly. Like I found within two and a half, three weeks, it was pretty much gone. And then I was just left with like that, um, blonde basically. Um, so usually like once you do it a couple more times, it'll stay in a lot better. The first time, like you're probably going to have to get your hair done about four, every four to six weeks. That's what I find mine fades and I use purple shampoo and everything like that. So, I mean, everyone, everyone's hair holds color differently. So you might be different, but just to give you a guideline, you do have to get it touched up every four to six weeks. So it is a little bit of a costly hairstyle as well. So that's pretty much the for the process and like the formula that we used. As for my haircut, that's a lot of questions I get about as well. So I do have really, really thick hair. Like I have, I have a lot of hair. So basically, um, 
my hair was a lot shorter before. I like it how it is right now where it's kind of like that long bob length. Um, but before I just asked for it, I wanted it right above my shoulders. I do put layers in it because I have really thick hair. Otherwise, it literally just looks like a blob on my head and it's not cute. So I always ask for layers. I always ask for it to be sheared out with the scissors. So usually they go along the ends just to make it a little bit more texturized. And then for my layers, I always ask for the shortest one to be just below my chin. I don't want it too short or too long otherwise it can look funny when I curl like I almost look like a poodle or I again look like a box so yeah that's basically all I ask for a haircut and everything is the same length all the way around I don't have like an a-line cut or anything like that although I am thinking about doing that so a really big question that I got on my video was how I keep my hair so shiny and it doesn't look so like straw like honestly it surprises me as well <laughs> and even my hairdressers like I always like assume the worst is gonna happen like every time they're washing out my hair I'm like this is the time I'm gonna have to go bald or get a pixie cut because I bleach my hair and do so much damage to it right so honestly the way it stays shiny I'm thinking like I don't do really take any special steps I'll show you some of the products that I use but one of the main things is I don't blow dry my hair very often like I would say in a month I probably blow dry it three times at most and that's probably because I only wash my hair once or twice a week um, and when I do blow dry it I try to let it dry at least 70 to 80 percent of the way so that I'm not putting too much heat on it for too long so um, that is something that I think keeps my hair in really good condition. As far as my blow dryer, I don't use anything special. It's literally like my boyfriend has a blow dryer that I just use that one because I can't be bothered to buy an expensive one because I hardly use it. So I just use whatever. Lots of people ask me questions about my straightener. So this is the GHD Classic Styler. It's a one inch. Um, everyone asks me what heat setting I put it on. And I, this doesn't have a heat setting. It just has an on and off button. Um, I looked it up and it said that the temperature for this is usually around 175 to 185 degrees used for my hair I don't have a curling iron so I use this to straighten and curl my hair really the last thing I'm going to talk about is products that I use so for my shampoo and conditioner I'm really bad with shampoo and conditioners and this is probably a reason why my hair color doesn't stay in maybe the best I really need to I can never find a good shampoo and conditioner from the salon that I really love I find that they don't like I like really sudsy and like I want like bubbles and foam when I wash my hair and I find lots of them don't do that so I'm still looking for a good one so right now I'm just using whatever I have left over but purple shampoo is really going to come in handy if you have platinum blonde or silver hair. So what I use is the AG Sterling Silver Shampoo. So this is just a toning shampoo. This really doesn't clean your hair. So usually I will go in and clean my hair first with a regular shampoo. And then I will put this on after I wash that one out and leave it on for about three to five minutes. And this will just help get rid of any gold in your hair. And I do have the conditioner as well. And then these are just some other styling products that I use. So the first thing is my Batiste dry shampoos. Cannot live with dry sh without dry shampoos. They're literally a staple in my hair care routine because I only wash my hair once or twice a week. These are amazing. They keep your hair looking fresh. Like this morning, my hair looks super greasy, looked like it needed to be washed. I just put a few sprays in and rubbed it in with my fingers and it looks like I actually washed my hair. So um, I like the original one and then I really like the big and bouncy extra large volume one especially for like days like today where this is from yesterday's style and it really just added more texture and volume into my hair so I have tried higher end dry shampoos like from Sephora and I didn't really care for them also they I went through them really quickly so personally I like the Batiste ones those are my favorite so these are two products that I use usually when I wash my hair so the first one is this Marrakesh oil this is from I think it's from Sally's Beauty, but it's just says it's a style hair styling elixir. It shines, conditions and protects. So any kind of like argan oil or Moroccan oil or anything like that is going to be really good for your hair. So usually I'll put this in my hair once I get out of the shower. That could definitely help it look more shiny and um, conditioned and stuff as well. And then another product that I use, this is a heat protectant spray. I actually got this as gratis when I worked at Sephora. It is the Caviar Repair Multivitamin Heat, Pro heat Protection Spray. So if I am going to um, blow dry my hair, I usually just spray some of this in my hair along with my oil. 
So I've gone through lots of um, dry texturizing sprays um, and these are the ones that I really really like. So the first one is Way Hair Care. This is just a texturizing spray. It smells really good. Um, it doesn't, I wish it just had a little bit more hold to it. It does really make your hair look texturized but I do have to use a um, hairspray when I use this one. This one I absolutely love and I'm actually going to pick up a full size of this. This one is by Living Proof. It's the full dry volume blast. This one I also got as gratis from Sephora but this is absolutely amazing. It gives you hold, it texturizes, and it gives you volume all at the same time. So with this I do not have to use hairspray which is is amazing. I definitely am going to be picking up a huge bottle of this. And then the last thing I use, um, this is hairspray. I've had this seriously for like two years. That's how much I don't like using hairspray. I just find it can feel so crunchy and gross in your hair if you overdo it. So this one's by Kenra. It's the finishing spray in maximum hold. So usually if I use the Way Hair Care Dry Texturizing Spray, I will use this in combination with it just to give it a little bit more hold. But this is the only hairspray that I find is not too sticky or too crunchy. So I do like this one. So just look through the comments in my video and I don't feel like there's anything else. I think we pretty much covered everything. So I hope you guys, this gave you guys a little bit more insight on how to achieve this hairstyle and hair color. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will leave, and leave any comments or suggestions down below on what you guys wanna see next. I will link my how I style my short hair down below if you want to learn how to get this hairstyle. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.